Hey there YouTubers, happy Friday and welcome to the Outdoor Hub News Blast for the week of May 2nd, 2014. Here are the five things you need to know about what happened this week in the outdoors. In news that's sure to rankle gun owners' feathers, the Government Accountability Office has found that the Pentagon stands to destroy some $1.2 billion worth of surplus ammunition. Due to antiquated and cumbersome inventory systems, the United States Armed Forces are ineffective at sharing information and material, which has led to the $1.2 billion surplus to be officially deemed unusable. A 9,000-year-old hunting site has been found 121 feet under the waters of Lake Huron. Researchers working with the University of Michigan discovered what appear to be ancient hunting blinds and storage structures on the Alpena Amberley Ridge. Archaeologists believe prehistoric hunters used the site as a kind of funnel to trap and easily pick off caribou. A Polish man arrived in Florida's New Smyrna Beach on Saturday after more than six months at sea. Aleksander Doba was no castaway, however. He was simply traversing the Atlantic Ocean on a kayak. The 67-year-old paddled more than 6,000 miles from his starting point in Lisbon, Portugal. It is assumed that Doba's adventure is the longest open water kayak crossing ever completed. At the NRA annual meeting and exhibits that took place over the weekend, Michael Bloomberg's new gun control group was a hot topic of discussion. The NRA ILA's executive director, Chris Cox, sharply criticized the billionaire for his alleged hypocrisy and misguided efforts. A video of a mind-blowing 300-yard archery shot that began making the rounds last week has gone super viral. In the clip, Matt of Trophy State of Mind TV lands a spectacular long-distance shot on a balloon. It's something you really have to see to believe. That's all for this week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and daily email Newswire to get everything exciting in the outdoors delivered to you as it happens.